not my joke was like four out of ten edgy. Are you kidding me? The online left does shit like this nonstop. Contra points has edgier jokes in her video. See, this is another thing that just It's your favorite. What's that? What about well, what, but yeah, well but what about ism aside? I'm gonna let the what we'll set that aside in this particular uh instance. We're having a conversation about optics here. ContraPoints is a trans woman. You are a white straight male, Vosh. <laughs> I know that you may not like uh, you may not like the, the fact that it's a different optical situation for you, but it is a hugely different optical situation. If JK Rowling had clipped one of those and complained about it, would you have gone, oh, well, I think this joke that Contra made where she said that the essence of femininity was being quiet and smiling when people make bad jokes, I think that was actually internalized misogyny. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You fucking cowards. The mildest shit. Well, it, this is also very dishonest, too. Because, you know, we've covered... Like, we co Didn't we cover her J.K. Rowling video? I'll be right back. Oh, you got a phone call. But, um, no, we covered J.K. Rowling's... Uh, ContraPoint J.K. Rowling video. And, when, and ContraPoint would say something like, you know, make that joke like, oh, you know, the essence of being a woman is to be quiet or whatever. It'd be very clear that it was a joke that she wanted you to take the opposite interpretation of, that she was just joking on that premise. But with Vosh's tweet, it doesn't even make sense. There's no, you're not supposed to take the opposite of the tweet because he's literally criticizing. He's saying, I'm criticizing a woman because she won't shut up. And then immediately says, women should shut up. How are you supposed to take the opposite of that joke? That doesn't even make sense. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. The, the point, I would say that when it comes to making an edgy joke, there's generally three points, okay? There's three purposes behind it. The first purpose is that you actually believe whatever the edgy joke is. is. The second point is- What? You're just, That's not true. Well, obviously some people believe it. Of course, what do you mean? Yeah, but I'll, I'll, so many of my edgy jokes- No, no, I understand Obviously that. I don't believe right. any. <laughs> there's, I know, but I'm saying there's three motivations behind edgy jokes. Okay. okay. One of them is because you actually believe whatever the joke is saying. Right. And you're sneaking okay. it in. You're like, and oh, you're sneaking I don't it really. in and saying, yeah. I'm just joking. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, when they say, like, oh, kill all landlords, JK, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> perfect example. Yeah. You're like, hmm. Or they say, like, oh, I, you know, you know, get rid of all white people. And you're like, hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sus. <laughs> Very well, sus. sus. Yeah. Um, so that's one motivation. The second motivation is that you're just saying something that, that you don't believe in, but you're just saying something like controversial or uh, you're pushing the line just to get a rise out of people. And that's the mm -hmm. only point of the joke. It's just to push a rise, just to annoy people or just to shock people or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Comedy's about surprise, as you always say, Adam. That's, yep. It's just to get that, you know, reaction out of people. And then the third point to make an edgy joke is that you're trying to say the opposite of the joke. You're kind of trying, you're, Ooh, you're yeah. playing a character that people are supposed to laugh at because you're saying mm -hmm. something outrageous, but they're all supposed to be like, oh, you know, you're playing the character of the bad guy. Like mm -hmm. a good example of this, I think, would be someone like Tosh. Tosh mm -hmm. would always say like the most like heinous shit that was sure. hilarious on stage. But part of his character is that he's like a bad person. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Justin and was, Sacco. Uh, same and Justin Sacco. Perfect example. You know, she's the first person to get, you know, widely publicly canceled. She said. Uh, mm -hmm. Going to Africa. Hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding. I'm white. Mm -hmm. Solid okay. joke. <laughs> Solid joke. <laughs> Solid joke. And I would argue the point of the joke is it's more about, and this is what's hilarious. It's not about, it's not insulting black people. It's insulting white people. Yes. Because she's Oblivious. playing herself as a character saying like, oh, I'm pretending to be like an ignorant white person. Totally. That's yes. the joke. Vosh's joke doesn't fit any of these categories. No. At yes. all, except maybe that he actually believes it, <laughs> and that's where the problem is with the edgy joke. It doesn't it doesn't fit in these categories. Now I want to look at the thing again, yeah, because it's how is all J.K. Rowling had to do was shut the fuck up? How is that something that he didn't actually mean? He's not playing an obtuse character here, <laughs> right? He's, he's yeah, ex exactly. His first tweet, 
he believes it. All Jay Carling had to do was shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. And then his second tweet is women need to shut the fuck up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't fit any of the form. It's just him being a fucking asshole edgelord. And then and then saying, Oh, like like this is literally the comic of the the meme comic of the feminist who's shoveling shit and throwing it over the wall. Mm-hmm. And then the shit th- gets thrown back at her and she's like, Oh, how dare they? Yeah, yeah. Turnabout is fair play. JK Rowling style. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. You don't care about <laughs> optics. You're just crybabies, okay? You're crybabies. Yeah, they're crybabies because they care about optics. It's and you, the... <laughs> you fucking train them to be crybabies. This is the oh, that's it, it's, so true. It's so rich for him to go. J.K. Rowling is being a crybully. Why do we even have the word crybully? Why yes. does that word even? fucking exist it exists because of people like you vosh and the leftist cancel culture weaponizing cry bully okay yes it's effective that's why they exist and i hate it when you confuse the two there are people going oh vosh has failed to consider optics he doesn't care about optics i'm the only one who cares about optics here you people are just embarrassing that's the problem Okay, no normies are being moved over by J.K. Rowling screenshotting me being mildly misogynistic. As a... That is so fucking untrue. The normies are totally moving over. I know. They're like, this is your political left right here, guys. Here it is. You know, J.K. They, Rowling. All yeah. talk. That right. tweet says all talk. That's yep. all it says. Yep. Yeah. I mean, she got 90,000 likes almost yeah. on that tweet. Yeah. 90,000 people Oof. shocked and chagrined that these people are voting for the same candidates as them. I know. Joke. Folks, the people who agree with J.K. Rowling are conservatives overwhelmingly. All of the existing information we have on who opposes trans rights points in that direction. <gasps> See, this is, he is, his whole channel is devoted to conservatives or cockroaches. I mean, Everything he says about conservatives is wrong, demoralizing nonsense. So he has this idea, like, he just okay. wants to put J.K. Rowling in the camp of conservative so that he can dismiss anything that she says. But I, I mean, I mean, I don't know your gut check on it, but I don't feel like J.K. Rowling is remotely conservative or a conservative no, icon in any no. way, shape, or form. She's a no. feminist, for heaven's right. sakes. Yeah, J.K. Yes. Rowling's very left. Yes. Uh, she's feminist. Yes. The, the conservatives weren't jumping for joy when Dumbledore was labeled <laughs> gay, posthumously gay, and was they were forced to watch six, seven, eight Harry Potter movies, not knowing that this character was gay. I right. think they even got a different actor. <laughs> it's like, well, they he died, so, so used Dumbledore. Not, yeah. Well, the actor died, but. Yeah, the actor died. But, but the, the they gay they say, they Dumbledore say, lived on. <laughs> right. They didn't say this actor what, didn't did he die of AIDS? Have to kill him off, you know. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't. Yeah. The idea that J.K. Rowling is swaying these hordes of normies when even the cast of Harry Potter movies aren't inviting her to like reunions and stuff is just not true. The media. Yeah, but you're. This is what's so funny. You're, mm-hmm. you're helping her. You're pushing that narrative, Bosh. You moved the needle. Maybe there was a bunch of people that just thought J.K. Rowling was a transphobe and that her arguments didn't have any mm-hmm. water. And then she's like, "Look, here's a person." That Mm -hmm. is like the exact stereotype that I want to label up and say, here's the misogynist that hates women, but is Mm -hmm. pro-trans, supposedly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The 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 cast of Harry Potter is probably reaching out to her right now, going, Oh, I can't believe you're having to deal with these (laughs) massage these toxic, misogynistic internet people. They're so bad. I know. Oh media has taken a side against her. It's the conservatives who side with her. And conservatives, A, don't care about sexism, obviously. And B, to a conservative, you being trans is worse optically than me being sexist, okay? Far worse. If you care about optics, then sorry, buddy, all right? If you're trans and don't pass perfectly, then you better have a cartoon avi, because otherwise your image your appearance is worse optics than anything i can say they don't care you hear how none of this is actually an explanation about why what he did is justified or optically good yeah 
It's all yes. just what about them? What it about them? look at what they're doing? Well, look at what they're what about those people? Yeah. He's got to separate the tribe here. <laughs> is so just, is Vosh's entire audience trans now? I mean, he's talking like they are. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder. He 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 literally there's three thousand people listening to this stream, and he literally just called, called said they're all trans. <laughs> right care about arguments, logic, or morals. They care about degeneracy. What? He's saying all conservatives don't care about logic or morals. What? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, no one cares about logic, so that's... Yeah, know. okay. I'll give you that one. <laughs> but morals, everyone cares about morals. Of course they do, yeah. They think this is going to lead... Well, they're worried about their kids. They're worried yes. their kids are going to come home from some communist teacher in social studies and say, I'm trans, that they basically implanted gender dysphoria into their children. Right. Which, I mean, I would be worried as a parent about false positives, wouldn't you, Sitch? I would be. I would be. Yeah. And you all, by you all, I mean trans people, in the mind of a conservative are degenerates, which is far worse to a conservative than being mildly misogynistic. So if some conservatives definitely will yeah, think well, trans it, people are degenerates, but right. And well, and this is the, you know, and you were saying you're you're saying oh, Vosh is a hypocrite here because all he does is just bad mouth one side and cast them in the most negative light. And this is exactly it. This is, you know, Sitchin Adams' law of broad strokes. He's just saying oh, everyone, including J.K. Rowling, that has any disagreement on any level about any trans issues is like you know, John mm -hmm. Doyle, you know, level of, you know, oh, or whatever, or someone even more extreme than John Doyle, someone who's just like, oh, mm -hmm. all trans people are degenerate. They should be purged, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Like, there's varying shades of belief here, yes. uh, Vosh, that many, and, and, and J.K. Rowling, she's not even against people transitioning at all. Yes. Of course not, yeah. <laughs> and, yet he, and yet he's hitting her with these broad strokes, so dishonest. It's so ironic that they they are for the binary. It's just the political binary. Yes. It's, <laughs> you can, there's no, That's true. There's no political true. spectrum. It's all binary. You're either conservative that, that, or you agree with me. That's interesting that, you know, it's like, oh, when it comes to gender, we have to have the magic spectrum that has a thousand different genders in it and everything has to be so complicated and nuanced. But when it comes to political thought, you know, you're either with me Oh, you're against me. And that's it. How, There's no spectrum. How much better would society be if we switched those? If we taught people that so there's a political much spectrum. Oh my God. There's a political spectrum. I know. I know. And sex is a binary. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking moron.